In this video, I'll show you how to make some paper bow ties, and you can also have it be a card by writing on the inside of the white side of the paper before you fold it up. And also, you can make one out of fabric. Can't write on it, of course, but it's such a simple bow tie. And it has a little bobby pin in the back to clip on to the shirt collar. With my scrapbook paper, I have a pattern on one side and it's plain on the other side. So on this side, I can write my letter. Dear Dad. And then he could, um, well, you'll want to write more than that. But <laughs> then he can undo his tie after he's worn it all day on Father's Day, then he can open it up and read what it says on the inside of his paper bow tie. So this is a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I'm going to cut it um, lengthwise so that I have a two inch strip. And then I'll set this two inch strip aside then I'm going to turn it over. Oh, so before you write the letter, cut the strip off. <laughs> it's a little off center now. Cut the strip. Now you can write your dear dad, dear father, stay letter on the back or whatever you'd like to do. You don't need to do that. That just makes it a fun idea for Father's Day. But then you'll want to just fold and then this does not have to be there's nothing accurate about this. I'm just going to fold about an inch and a half, an inch, I don't know. Fold the long ends of each side in. That's like that. And now I'm going to fold the short ends right here in so that they overlap about, oh, I don't know, half inch right there in the middle. I'm just kind of eyeballing that. And do a crease there. And a crease there. Now I'm going to turn it back over. And so here's where they're overlapping. I'm going to turn it over and fold it this way in half. And this doesn't have to be a hard fold. It can be a gentle fold. I just really mainly need the fold just here in the middle to fan fold and gather up the this fan fold here in the middle and gather and pinch it the middle. So I don't have to crease it real stiff on the outside parts. So I've got my fold here, and I'm going to fold both edges into the middle there. And this side into that middle crease. It's a lot of layers of paper. Now, to do the fan fold, I'm going to take this edge and fold it out toward this edge. And again, I'm just doing a harder crease in the middle, gentler crease on the outside. So this edge here, I'm going to fold out to here. And now I'm going to, where did my fold go? Right there. Continue to fan fold and have that go in like so, and this one go into the center like that. And there we go. Here's where that cut edge is, so that's going to be the back of the tie. Here's the front of the tie. I'm going to set that aside, and with this strip, I only need a little bit of it, a fourth, a third, just cut the end off so that you have a little bit of it. Then turn it over and I'm going to fold the edges in, the long edges, edges into the middle. 
and it's okay if it overlaps. You can kind of eyeball and see how wide you would like this um, part of the bow tie. This, if I measure it on here, it's about three fourths of an inch wide. Now, I'm going to get a glue gun and glue that. So here's the back. Put the edge right here and without burning myself, I'm going to put a little glue on the end of oops. And pull this up. And we're going to have some overhang, and I just need to trim that because I don't need that much. Paper. Like that. Now turn it over, make sure that's in the center. You can shift it either way. And then you might want to pull out. The ends like that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Got some glue gun spider webs. Now, so that he can wear it, everybody should be able to find some bobby pins, hopefully, at your house, so you don't have to go buy it. You could get a fancier clip or something if you wanted to, but bobby pins seem to be the most accessible thing. And so you put that on the band that we put around our fan fold, just like that, and all he has to do is slip that on a shirt collar and he can wear it all day, very proudly. And that's just so cute. Now, if you don't want to make a paper one, you won't be able to write on this, of course, but you can do the same exact thing with some material. This is just some scrap material I had, and it was, a, uh, just because it happened to be, a 10 by 10 inch piece of fabric. And so, I cut my two inch strip off, so now this is going to measure about 10 by, 10 by 8, yep. So you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold up this edge, fold them into the middle. It's a little bit, the harder part with the fabric is it doesn't stay creased. And that's okay. Okay. Now, because it doesn't stay creased as well, do a hand pinch gathering thing here. Here's the back with the cut edges right there. So you fan fold along that cut edge. There we go. Now I need, actually, I'm just gonna get my bobby pin to hold that. Same thing with this. You don't need a whole lot of material. Fold the raw, longer edges in. And and then get the glue gun. Here's the back, so I'm going to put the glue right here. Wrap that around. Rid of the webs. I should probably can't see them, but there's glue gun webs. <laughs> okay, doke. Now I need to twist this. And pull out the ends. This needs to be centered just like that. Oh. I'll get the glue off. So you can make a quick little fabric tie 
and do the same thing with the bobby pin on the back. Stick that through and then you can just slip this part of the bobby pin onto his shirt collar. And he's got a dapper bow tie to wear. Not cute, so have fun with your fabric or paper card. If you want to make it be a card, bow ties. <laughs>